Hi everyone, hope you are all fine. This is Atik. Welcome to our YouTube channel Engineering Drive. Before I am going to start programs on multi-threading, dear students, it is better if we have this concept of thread life cycle. Okay, what is the life cycle of a thread? What are the various states in which a thread will undergo during its life cycle? So, a thread will have totally 5 states in its life cycle in a Java program. What are those 5 states? Let me discuss one by one because once you have the idea about this 5 states of a thread, then easily we can able to write our programs based on multi-threading multi concept. So, what is the first state in thread's life cycle? The first state is a bond state. This is the first state of a thread. In this state, a thread is newly created with the help of a thread class. A new thread object is created. Thread object is created. So, in this state, a thread enters into the bond state when a new thread object is created from a thread class. Okay. And once the thread enters into this state, it can't do anything. Simply, it won't perform any type of work also. When, when we can say the thread enters into bond state, once the thread object has been created in a Java program, thread enters into bond state. Still, it is not doing any work. Okay. Now, the second state of a thread is runnable state. So, what is runnable state? Runnable means the thread is ready for the execution now. It is ready to do work. So, a thread enters into this state once, once it is, once it is ready for execution, once it is ready for execution and is waiting for and is waiting for the availability and it is waiting for the availability of the processor of the processor okay here when a thread enters into runnable state means a thread enters into runnable state when it is ready for the execution so, in this second state of a thread, the thread is ready for the execution and it is waiting in a queue for the availability of the processor. Once the processor will take the thread, it will execute. Okay. So, still the processor has not taken the thread for execution, only it is waiting for the availability of the processor. Then we can say the thread enters into runnable state. Then comes the third state, which is the main state for the execution of a thread. In this thread, in this state, the thread starts its execution. We call this state as running state. So, a thread enters into running state if it is under the execution, if it is under the execution of the processor, of the processor. So, if the thread is being currently executed by the processor, then we can say that the thread has entered into which state? In running state. This is the third state of a thread's life cycle. Okay. Now, here no problem. Thread will be executing and it is doing the work. Sometimes the thread will enter into block state also. This is the fourth state in a thread life cycle. What is the meaning of block state? Block state means... See here, a thread, when is a thread ready for execution, you know, in runnable state. Sometimes, in if we avoid the thread from entering from runnable to running state, if we are avoiding the thread here, if we are avoiding the thread to enter from runnable to running state, then the thread will enter into blocked state. Is it right? So, if the thread is unable to go to running state, only it is in a run that if the thread is unable to go in running state, only if it remains in a runnable state for a long period of time in a queue. Okay, in a queue, then what happened? If the processor is not given for the thread, then the thread will enter into which state? Blocked state. So, in Java program, we can make use of some methods like 
सस्पेंड वेट एंड स्लीप दीज आर सम ऑफ द मेथड विच वी कैन यूज टू मेक द थ्रेड इंटर इन टू विथ स्टेट ब्लॉक स्टेट ओके वंस द थ्रेड इंटर इन टू ब्लॉक स्टेट there is there is no way that the thread will enter in only into the block state permanently from from block state the again the thread can enter into running state also once we stop using this methods is it clear this is the fourth state of a thread and the last state of a thread life cycle is the dead state you can get the idea by seeing the side heading itself a dead state is the last state of a thread life cycle when a thread enters in when a thread enters into dead state if the thread completes its execution okay so a thread enters into dead state once the thread has once the thread has completed once the thread has completed its execution so once the execution of the thread has completed then the thread enters into dead state now there are two ways in which a thread dies in thread also we are having two ways what are the two ways in which a thread dies one is natural death and another one is premature death so these are the two ways in which a thread dies okay what is the meaning of natural death you know you know when we can say now what is the meaning of natural death actually in our uh, human beings or in even in animals also when a person will become old let us say a person age has crossed a particular limit then a person will die due to some internal problems health issues then we can say natural death what is the meaning of premature death premature death say let us say a youngster a student or a young boy or a young girl who has not crossed their age similarly if in a 20 years or 22 years 25 years if they die then we can say it is a premature death similarly here also in terms of java program a thread can be terminated or thread can die by in two ways one is natural death natural death means once the execution of the thread has successfully completed then thread will die automatically this is the natural death whereas there is one more way in which a thread will die what is that premature death premature death means with the help of some methods we can kill the threads also before they are going to complete the execution okay we call those th types of threads death as premature deaths so these are the two ways in which a thread dies in a java program so dear students i believe that you people got a enough clarity on the five states in a thread life cycle now with this concepts in my next classes of my java program in my next sessions i am going to discuss the programs by using which we can create a thread in a java so with this let me close my today's session of video see you soon everybody take care allah hafiz